After another turbulent weekend in the Gaza Strip, the time for protest has arrived. But as you can see, a few boys in Khan Yunis won't stop the civil war, which has passed the point of no return. The Israeli General Security Service deputy chief said at a Jerusalem cabinet meeting that Fatah and Hamas are arming themselves for a long and bloody conflict, and thus every agreement signed is doomed to be broken, like all those that came before. الوقف الفوري لإطلاق النار وسحب المسلحين من الشوارع والأبراج ورفع كافة الحواجز التي نتجت عن الأحداث الأخيرة. Another ceasefire was agreed upon Saturday between senior Fatah and Hamas officials. The same Fatah officials were fired upon just hours after signing the agreement. Even Prime Minister Ismail Haniyeh doesn't believe the agreements are worth the paper on which they were printed. كفانا اتفاقات. وكفانا بيانات ثم بعد ذلك الأوضاع على الأرض كما هي. Yes, the reality on the ground is harsh. Most of the residents are holed up in their houses. There is no food supply to the stores. All businesses are closed, and even representatives of UNRWA are having a hard time working on the battlefield. It must be noted that the footage arriving from Gaza is partial and does not reflect the full extent of the happenings there. News agency cameramen, who in the past provided excellent documentary footage of clashes between Palestinians and the Israeli army, don't dare broadcast live from the battleground. Almost all of the footage seen worldwide is taken from the rooftops. Gaza is burning much more than seen on TV.